Hey gang, this is Jay from JTech and in today's video I will be talking about what went down at Mobile World Conference 2016. My main focus will be the LG G5, the Samsung Galaxy S7, and of course a device that wasn't mentioned at MWC 2016, the Nextbit Robin. Now as many of you people know, I did an expectations video on the Galaxy S7 and much of what I said into that video has probably come into fruition. The return of SD card slot, a much larger battery and even waterproofing which I didn't discuss made a comeback in the Galaxy S7. Nothing changed much from the design which I expected and even the camera dropped to 12 megapixels but the big omission here was USB-C. The reasons behind this was because of Samsung's VR technology which they're bundling onto the Galaxy S7 because of their dwindling smartphone sales. Otherwise it would have been a poor decision on Samsung's part to bundle this device with USB Type-C. Overall, the S7 is a pretty good device with a great camera and I hope to review this in the next coming weeks. Up next is the LG G5, which has brought much needed innovation into a, an industry that has gone stale for the last few years. The LG G5 has kept the things that we love about smartphones, it has brought replaceable battery technology, not only that, it has brought modular type additions without having to spend $500 each year on a new smartphone. The LG G5 has come with add-ons from Bang and Olufsen and even their own camera add-ons that will make the, your device almost DSLR-ish in terms of taking DSLR type pictures but this is a great device and hopefully I also get to do a first impression video on this device in the coming weeks. And finally we have the next bit Robin, which wasn't talked about at MWC but has made rounds in terms of tech reviews over the last few weeks. Next bit came up with this phone off of Kickstarter and it's a phone that goes for $599 whose main selling point is cloud technology. Many people are wondering, do SD cards become obsolete and does everyone move on to the cloud? Well, the next bit Robin tries to answer that question by moving all of your apps onto the cloud. And with the onboard storage of 32 gigs, it isn't much of a force, a force option. The next bit Robin is a good device. Its premise or point of sale is really, really interesting. But as far as I'm concerned, not many people are ready to move most of their applications, videos, and large documents onto the cloud. Maybe for photos and even mini documents, but for applications and videos, cloud technology hasn't really been fully in. The next bit Robin is. It's a really huge expensive gamble that not many people are embracing. And only because Nextbit are basing this device on one selling point, many people have been thrown off the Nextbit Robin. So guys, let me know what you think of these devices. Are you going to get one of these devices or are you going to get all of them? Which is your favorite device from MWC 2016? Of course, there were a lot more devices to talk about, but these were the three that made a lot of noise in the past few weeks on the internet. So thank you guys for watching this video, I'll leave links to the guys that provided extra content to this video. Anyways, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.